hey y'all welcome back to my channel and if you're new here then welcome my name is Shay and thank you so much for being here today so for today's video I'm going to show you my minimal everyday makeup that I like to do when I'm on my work days or whenever I just don't want to put a lot of time and effort into my makeup and just on really quick days um, I've been doing these steps and using these products over like the last two to three weeks probably at least Monday through Friday um, it's just really easy it's just a few products and it gives me this no makeup makeup look and it makes my skin look glowy and radiant and perfect and yeah so if that's something you're interested in just keep on watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and go ahead and click subscribe before you leave all right so i got my whole intro spiel done let's go ahead and jump right into the video all right so i went ahead and pulled you in just a little bit closer just a little bit so i'm going to first talk about pre-makeup uh like skincare and let's go ahead and get that out of the way so in the morning I like to just splash water on my face and just kind of rinse it off and then I usually go in with my vitamin C serum and then a moisturizer um, I usually use my uh, drunk elephant proteiny or I've been trying the belief I have a little sample here the belief uh, the true cream aqua bomb and this is really good it's a gel moisturizer um, and it is very lightweight and I really like this um, and then lastly for the last step of my skincare I always always go in with sunscreen this is a newer step to I'd say the last two months I've religiously put on sunscreen every single day and I just think it's really important now that I'm 30 years old I've really gotten into skincare and I just think it's super important to protect my skin and to keep it looking as good as possible so this is the Umbra Sheer Physical Daily Defense it is an SPF of 30 and it doesn't leave like a white cast on my face it doesn't feel greasy it sinks in really well and i really enjoy this it makes my skin look super moisturized um and glowy combined with the other products and just kind of sets my face for what i'm about to put on it and yeah so that's my skincare before we start the makeup and let's go ahead and move right along so the first thing i do is i go in with my becca under eye brightening corrector it looks like this it is a um, color correcting cream i did mention this in my january favorites it's super good i love it it's very creamy and what i do is i just dab this just a little bit i get a little bit on my finger and i dab it under my eyes i focus it mainly right in the corner and i just kind of keep it right underneath my eye and just dab it in really really well and blend it out and I just use my ring finger with light patting motions for, for me this cream really covers up because I have a little bit of darkness right up here in the corner of my eye and this really brightens that area up and just makes all the darkness and discoloration go away all right, so once that kind of sits for just a second, I like to go in and just make sure that I tap it on out because it will kind of crease a little bit. So I like to just kind of make sure that it is smoothed out as much as possible. All right, so for the next step, what I have been doing is going in with a concealer. Um, now, I forgot to mention, but you can probably tell I already have my brows done. And I do have mascara on cause just because I had some on earlier. So we're going to get to that. I'll mention those steps when I would normally do them. So next step, like I said, I go in with a concealer. And I have been using the Maybelline Age Rewind, the one with the little sponge on the top. It is so good, you guys, for a drugstore concealer. And I was using one that was just my skin tone that, you know, wasn't super light. Um, and I would just conceal I'll show you how so for today what I'm going to use is this wet n wild photo focus concealer because it is kind of similar to my skin tone and first what I'm going to do is dab it on any blemishes I have a little bit of red um, I have two little blemish spots right there and then 
I'm going to take, I have a little bit of redness right here and right here on my face. So all I'm going to do is kind of dot around in those areas just to cover up that redness because that's all I want to do. Just in my trouble spots. I'm going to put just a few dots under my eyes and then maybe just like a little tad on my forehead just to kind of blend out. And I'm going to take my damp beauty sponge. This is the Morphe sponge. And I'm just going to go ahead and work this product over. Just kind of buffing it out over that redness and over those few areas that I want to conceal. You can hit the top of your eyelids if they get super red. And I'm going to go over my little blemish areas really softly. So that's what I do for my concealer. I'm not putting on foundation. I just skip foundation on the days that I'm doing this type of makeup. And like I said, I just go right in with the concealer over my trouble areas and anywhere that I want to have a little bit of coverage on. So this just tones down the redness on my cheeks, but it does not cover up all of my skin and it still keeps my skin very natural looking. Um, and I did put a little bit under the eyes just to kind of brighten that area move along to the next step <clears throat> then i go in with my maybelline fit me powder or sometimes i use the wet n wild photo focus pressed powder so what i do is i grab me a little fluffy brush and i get me some powder and i'm going to go ahead and set right underneath my eyes just kind of lightly dusting under there i'm not going to bake or put on tons of powder and i didn't even mention priming so let's back up so I do my sunscreen every once in a while I'll take and I put on a little bit of a pore filler just in my nose um, or I use that or either like this dewy one you could use but I don't always put on primer just like I said once in a while I'll just put it right here on my nose and beside my nose if I feel like my pores are looking huge that day so let's continue on with the powder so then I just kind of go over where I put that concealer right on my cheeks and then right over my blemishes and just a little dab on the forehead very lightly powdering my face because I don't want it to look super powdery or super dry so I just put on a light dusting of the powder the next step is where I would go ahead and do my brows so those are on I'm gonna move right along to blush I do like to put on a little bit of blush just so I have a little bit of color in my cheeks and I just don't look all pasty white. So I'm going to go in with this Milani Tea Rose shade. And I just really lightly put a little bit towards the back of my cheeks like that. Just to give us a little bit of warmth and color back. So that's it. Really simple. Really easy. Then I go in with some highlighter and the ones I've been loving with this really natural look are the Wet n Wild Mega Glow and the Maybelline Master Chrome. This is in the, I believe this is Precious Petals and then this one is the Molten Rose Gold. So for today I'm going to go with the uh, Wet n Wild and what I like to do, y'all have probably seen me do this before, I like to take my damp beauty bud and dab right in and then just press it on my cheek just like that and that just makes it look so natural and just kind of melts it into the skin it looks so pretty so just like that and then I will go on my nose keep its bow and then I'll just dot a little bit right here above each eyebrow and a little on my chin just like that and then I will go ahead and take a tiny tiny bit and just put under my brow and then on the inner corner and that just kind of highlights all the high points and then putting a little bit on the inner corner kind of opens up your eyes and makes them look more awake all right so let's see and then at this point I got all of my face base done and my brows so then is when I would go in with mascara I've been using the total temptation from Maybelline a lot 
and then the my other favorite is the unique epic mascara this stuff is really really awesome too and then the, the last step for setting our makeup well second to the last step I'm gonna I go in with this um, hard candy sheer envy hydrating primer mist I got this from Walmart for like eight dollars it's infused with coconut water it helps to hydrate and but you can also you can prime or set your face with this I think it's really really awesome I'm gonna go ahead and spray it it gives my skin such a beautiful radiant sheen to it and it just smells so good so then I take my beauty bud again with one of these flat edges and just kind of press that into my skin just to kind of help it set and my skin is looking so glowy and so beautiful then the last step is this derm store lip quench this is just a lip gloss type product it's not I think it's got a little tiny bit of tint to it but it's mostly very very sheer kind of just like a clear gloss mostly it looks like it's tinted but then when it goes on yeah it might have a touch of color to it so I put that on so that my lips look nice and hydrated and juicy <laughs> not really so that's it this is the finished face it takes like 10 minutes you guys well depending on how long it takes me on my brows sometimes they're kind of a pain in the butt but again it looks what is this calm down it looks really natural it looks like I don't hardly have makeup on which I really don't I just like the way my skin feels because it feels not heavy or cakey and it just feels like my skin and I'm loving the minimal makeup lately so I hope you can see how shiny not shiny sounds oily how radiant my skin looks it looks so good in real life um yeah, so that's it. We used a handful of products, and it's very, very short. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know if you do or not. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. And, um, yeah, until next next time, I want to go ahead and do a more in-depth, like, glowy makeup where it is more full coverage and using more products, you know, maybe a little bit of contouring. So that will be coming up soon. And, uh, yeah, until next time, guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.